how important do you think training your ear to hear all of these little details is so that you don't have to rely on following the rule book mm. you rely on what you hear and what it sounds like to you <laughs> i think i mean it's i don't know how you can train i mean obviously experience is a thing uh, that is very important and i suppose experience is gained by listening to lots of music um, and trying to listen to it in an environment where you can hear it properly you know whether it's a decent pair of headphones or you know or wherever um, you know and, and trying to analyze what's going on I, a long time ago um, I was working with some other people and we used to have to write before we had PCs and, and music on there it was a long long time ago and there was a company that we used to have to do covers <laughs> of pop songs of the time with basically hardly any equipment so we had to analyze all these things that at the time had been done in like you know mega studios and we had next to nothing and we had to sort of try and analyze what made them sound like they'd sounded and recreate it with the limited tools we had so that was a real skill i mean maybe that's a, a try, that's a skill to to try and teach yourself to listen to somebody's music and try and create something that sounds similar in, you know and by just you know listening to trying to focus in on a particular sound and trying to find a sound that does similar things in on your system mm -hmm. um, but i think it it is um, a skill i don't know how you would teach that without just keep listening to different mm. material i suppose there are certain elements of a track that you may or may not be aware that are the things that you hone in on i mean yes. not going back to the bass drum but you you wouldn't you wouldn't notice it but you probably would notice if it stood out but then if it but then you it's also an element of which in a way we don't get so much performance based stuff with electronic music but no. when you watch people who are really good at performing and playing and sing even if they don't play the correct notes all the time and it's it, not perfect in its sort of musical theory has got so much more feel and so much mm. more excitement or s hard to quantify what it actually is but you i don't know that there's something that they do and that's yeah. that, that's what we're all trying to aspire to is to put your own your own stamp on it whatever it is sometimes you know the, the singer who sings the worst can still have the most emotion in something or the way they play something can talk to you even if it doesn't sound 100 percent correct so it's it's kind of and it's easy for me to say this because i i think like most musicians and artists worry that they are going to present something which is going to look bad and you're not going to be liked but actually people will like stuff if they think that you've done it with mm. integrity and even if it's not 100 percent polished sometimes it just yeah. i'm trying to listen mm. to things in mixes that are the the key to mm. you know analyze why you think something works and and sort of then go and try and recreate it yourself i think trying mm. to do stuff and experiment and try and you know not not to you know rip people off but even it's just an exercise for yourself see if i can create a mix like that person or or that person and you know or with the feeling of that mm. that singer mm -hmm. and, and stuff i mean somebody once said to me that um peter gabriel always sounded like he was trying to tear his face off and i thought that was an amazing sort of description of you mm. know and then i was thinking how can i sing like him and i couldn't <laughs> um, which is the answer but um, you know the, Anna yeah she, I think just continually listening to things as well as you know um, in a just a sort of musical mm. way and an, an analytical way you know but not dis don't deconstruct any every single thing to the minutiae because you'll never like music again but you have to sort of I mean sometimes we'll yeah. you know listen to things quietly listen to things loud you know and that's a, a sort of you, if you crank everything up it always sounds great and so it's important to listen to things at different levels and you know on different systems and you know it's it's a shame that lots of people will listen to their music on a phone and so you know it has to sound good on that as well but you know listen to things on lots of different um, media and um, yeah just keep listening I suppose mm. and be prepared to 
fail in a yeah. way not not yeah. even necessarily in front of everyone else but you know try out all these things if it doesn't work just try something else out yeah. and then if it doesn't work try so eventually you'll find something you think well I actually I like that and that does work and I'm pleased with that and then progress from there it doesn't matter if you make mistakes everyone makes mistakes but yeah we're only ever hearing the finished products when if we kind of get presented to us are you know the best album that you've been given it could have been years of complete disasters behind that Definitely. and trying out things and trying out things and scrapping the whole track and then doing it again and then leaving it off the album completely and you never knew any of that stuff you're no. only ever hearing the finished article but that's what you've got to do in your own bedroom or your own studio and and then you eventually get to the point where you've got something you can present to people yeah, no, go and just experiment and try and just enjoy it, really. I think, yeah. you know, music's about enjoyment. And, uh, oh, is it? Sorry. Oh. It hasn't been when I've been in here, has it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me out! Um, but no, yeah. that, that's, mm. I think, you know, try and enjoy mm. the journey. Yeah. Because that's mm. it. 